Hey guys, Emma again. A bit more in-depth video today on this old bike. It's a Gazelle from Holland. The frame number, which is here. You have a look, says, if I look that up, says it's made in 1931, which is, makes it 84 years old. It needs a bit of work, which is an understatement. Neither of the wheels are bright. The front one is the right diameter, but it's got the wrong, it's the wrong width and it's got the wrong hub in it. And it's definitely off another bike if you have a look. The paint on here is pretty obviously green. So at some point it's been on a green bike, and probably a little bit later. This is as it is a 665 here, and this one's only a 635 on the back, which I'm told is the wrong one. It is the right width, but it's got the wrong hub in it. It's got a coaster brake there, which is not correct. It should have a mechanical brake that's, that's rod operated the same as the front one. This is the front one here. which pulls up and down with a shoe on each side. That's the, the original front brake. And that's, that's operated from a lever at the top. The spring. The other side should operate another lever with a little, a little crank here and a crank at the bottom. And what that should do, it should have a, a brake the same that operates on here. Now that's been missing for a long time I think, but you can still see a mark there where the, where the original lever was. Now the paint's been painted over at some point. There's these brush marks in here, which is a little bit rough. But if we have a look here, we can still see some of the original paint stripe, uh, pin stripe here under the um, under where the chain guard was, and that appears like it's probably been a, a bronzy gold colour, probably a shiny gold. So we might have to look at putting some of that back on. You can see the four gazelles in the in the crank web there. And we've got one bent pedal that might need to be straightened out. This guard is all laced here. It's got holes to um, lace back onto this connection here. So there would have been strings through here to keep the skirts out of the um, out of the guard, out of the wheel. So I think probably that the this rim's about had it, it would patch up, but if you have a bit of a look, it's it's pretty thin in places, and it's a bit of a mess, so we might just get rid of this back rim as well. So it looks like two new rims, probably a three-speed sterling archer in the front and the back here, uh, with, a, with a lever to operate it, so that's something that needs needs to be looked into. There's a little bit of pin striping left here. You can see it. And there's two stripes here that have been on it. This lamp bracket's got a gazelle in it. If you have a look, there's a little head there for a gazelle, which is a bit cute. And it should have gazelle written here. Let's have a bit of a look. But the, the head badge is missing. Which will have to be replaced. And there's quite a and there's quite a few bolts and nuts that are damaged and bent, so so there's a few things to replace. 
face. There's a reflector missing off the back. I'm not sure what that should have had. We have to do some more homework on that. But it does still have the original works badge there with a little little wheel with a gazelle in it. So that's a bit cute. Whoever got the front one didn't get that one. Pleased about that. So that's a 28 inch gazelle. I think it's a, a number seven. I think is the official designation for this bike. It's got a a bike lock on here, I'm not sure it's a combination, I'm not sure whether it's an aftermarket one or not, I have to do some homework on that. And apart from that, it's just a matter of pulling things down and stripping them back. I'm not sure how this is going to clean up, it's quite pitted here. So anyone with any ideas, I'll drop them in the electrolysis bath already done this one and give it a rub up with some, some emery cloth but it, it's still quite pitted so I have to have a think about that. There must be a way to fix it. So anyway that's a, a bit more of an overlook and, and a look at what we're going to need to do on it to restore it. So if someone has a YouTube man might be interested. Thanks for watching guys and don't forget to subscribe for some more. Thanks.